Miracle Archie Baby's crazy transformation one week later less than a week after his son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, was born, Prince Harry is in the Netherlands, celebrating the countdown to the 2020 Invitus Games in The Hague. He may be traveling out of the country, but the Duke of Sussex's mind is certainly still back in Windsor. Today, Harry proudly broadcast his new papa status with his jacket, which featured the words Invitus Family Daddy. According to reporter Emily Nash, Harry spoke with one of the Netherlands Invitus Games competitors, about how having a small child was his new focus and new goal. Van der Struen also revealed that Harry said his son is so far very quiet. Above all he said he was just amazed by the miracles in the world, and how his child has made a lot of people happy. He told me he's really happy that his son is so far very quiet, Van der Struen said, according to Nash. He also told me not to make too many plans and that there's no way you can plan for when the baby arrives. Harry's son Archie arrived on Monday and was several days overdue. It has also been reported that while Meghan had hoped to give birth at home, she did end up going to the hospital. Perhaps those shifting plans are what Harry was referring to when speaking with van der Struen. His comments on his son's disposition echo what Meghan said about Archie yesterday during the family's photo call at Windsor Castle. He has the sweetest temperament, the Duchess of Sussex said at her son's public debut. He's really calm. He's just been a dream, so it's been a special couple of days. While it may seem unusual for a new dad to be traveling so soon after the birth of his child, royal correspondent Victoria Murphy previously reported for town and country Prince Harry was committed to making this event work. A royal source said that the prince is very committed to being available for the Invitas launch on May 9 however acknowledged that this trip would also have to be reviewed if Meghan was in labor or baby Sussex has only just arrived, Murphy wrote. Murphy has also reported for TNC that while Harry will return to his official duties more quickly than Meghan, his schedule is likely to be lighter over the summer. Just days after the Duchess of Sussex gave birth, Harry jetted to the Netherlands for an engagement at The Hague for the Invitas Games 2020. During his visit Harry had a heart-to-heart -heart with former soldier Dennis van der Struen, who has his sights set on competing in the Games, about fatherhood. Dennis recalled his conversation with the 34-year-old royal to Hello! Magazine, we talked about how my wife, Mireille, is 20 weeks pregnant with our first child, a girl, and he told me how special it was that his son has just been born. Above all he said he was just amazed by the miracles in the world, and how his child has made a lot of people happy. But he also told me not to make too many plans and that there's no way you can plan for when the baby arrives. Dennis added, he also told me he's really happy that his son is so far very quiet. The pair continued to bond over fatherhood and losing a parent. During the heart-to-heart -heart Harry admitted he doesn't feel so alone when he speaks to other people who have loved and lost a close one. Kate was incredibly nervous before meeting Archie, our insider reveals. They were given a list of instructions before going, which included wearing clothes that hadn't been worn around the kids to ensure no germs were passed on, not bringing any gifts, not dishing out any advice, not asking any questions and not kissing the baby. She and William weren't allowed to hold Archie, and Meghan told Kate she didn't want George, Charlotte, or Louis meeting their cousin until he's at least three months old. Kate was heartbroken, the insider adds. She doesn't know how she'll tell the kids they can't visit the new baby they've been desperate to meet. As soon as she got in the car she burst into tears. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, could utilize the colossal open enthusiasm for her child to help moral organizations, as indicated by a main child-rearing master. Archie Mountbatten-Windsor was conceived on May 6. The youngster, seventh in line to the British position of authority, holds both UK and US citizenship. As indicated by Estelle Lee, previous editorial manager of the Smallish Child Rearing magazine, Meghan could advance organizations she affirms of by means of the infant's closet. Addressing the Daily Telegraph she remarked, as a celebrity Main Street standard, and blogger turned Duchess, Meghan will be intensely touchy to the tsunami impact any brand support will have once it comes to kidding out her infant's closet.